Hello everyone. I'm Kentucky Dolly Mom. Welcome to my channel. If you're new and haven't subscribed yet, please consider just subscribing if you like my videos. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. All of my subscribers are awesome and amazing. So if you'd like to become one of my awesome subscribers, it's very simple. Hit that subscribe notification bell and you will be notified the next time I make a video. Uh, and if you enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up and share them with your dolly friends so my video can continue to grow. With that out of the way, happy Friday, everyone. I can't believe another week is ending. But on a positive note, tomorrow the weekend starts. So that's a good thing. And I'm, as I've said many, many times, guys, I don't know what's going on with my YouTube videos. Like I said, today is Friday and I'm still up for some reason yesterday. Thursday's video is still uploading. And yesterday was the um, uh, tag that um, having you on uh, did and Suzanne's babies. So I thought since Braxton was in my video for yesterday, I would bring Braxton back out because she's still in her little adorable kitty cat outfit. And I mentioned in my video yesterday um, about my sweet little cat here. Not sure if you can see him, but he's back because um, we are doing Friday's tag, which is Tamara's tag at Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery. And today, her tag is Fun Fur Friday. Now, this is the first time I've been able to participate in this tag. And I hope I've got it right. But I believe she wants anything that has to do with fur. So, of course, we've got my sweet Braxton and her kitty cat outfit, which is definitely fur, maybe. I've got my... Uh, Sebastian uh, cat that my granddaughter had sent me from Texas many years ago and we brought this cute little doggy out because we love all fur babies and this is a sweet little shaggy furry doggy so we thought we'd bring this out and I've got of course my sweetheart Jessie Marie and I've got Jessie Marie, Marie right now in this sweet sweet vintage very very vintage dress it's yellow has the white lace a tiny little bow with a tiny little yellow blue and white flowers on it trimmed in lace it's got a little the same little bowy uh, flower like that's on the bow. It's um, like little yellow roses with green uh, leaves. And it's trimmed in white. It's got the little pleated front. It, I just adore this dress. It is a tad big on her around her neck. But other than that, it fits her so well. And we've just been laying back with our little feet going because it's warm. So we just decided... We weren't going to put nothing on her little feet today. But we are going to change her for Fun Fur Friday. And I hope you can see her. And today we are going to put her in this adorable little onesie. It's got a white background, a little pink bow with some little tiny pink trim. And it's got the cutest little puppies on it 
little puppies. Uh, kind of look maybe like a little boxer, maybe. A little Frenchie. Uh, and they're gray with little pink uh, ears. And then we have this adorable little hooded outfit. And we're staying with the kitty cat theme. It's a pink background with white kitty cats and little eyes and mouth and nose is accented in black and her little whiskers are white. And this is a Carter's creamy and has the little matching pants that are uh, uh, a navy blue, white stripe, and it has the little pink feet that are little kitty cats. And the little pink feet has the black eyebrows, whiskers, and mouth for the kitty cat. We're going to give her a fresh diaper and then we'll top her off with this pretty little pink lacy bow. And we will start this show on the, get this show going. Because, like I said, I'm not real sure why um, my videos are taking so long to upload. This is a Friday video, and hopefully by the time it up, gets finished uploading, it will still be Friday. <laughs> uh, but if not, I know everybody can't watch the videos just as soon as they come out. So uh, no matter when it comes up, what day of the week of the theme it is, it'll be there for you to watch at your convenience. We've got another very warm day today in Kentucky. And sadly to say, the humidity is back. So it's extremely hot and muggy here today very very muggy and i thought i would give her a fresh diaper these are parents choice and they go with the fur um the uh fun for friday uh theme as well because i don't know if you can tell but it looks like a little bunny rabbit to me it may not be but it actually looks like a little bunny rabbit to me so we're just going to call it a bunny rabbit and it's been a little while since we've changed this little girl's diaper so we are just going to go ahead and give her a fresh diaper. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And while I'm changing her, I'm just going to chit-chat because if uh, you've been following me for a while, if you know me in person, uh, you know me from online, I am a talker. <laughs> I do like to talk, which is so odd that I am such a talker now because growing up, I was so shy. I mean, I was so shy, I could literally just burst into tears if someone said anything to me. It was just, oh, don't talk to me, please. Please don't, don't make me talk. But it's just funny how things change uh, as you get older. Uh, you find out that people won't really bite and they get to know you when you talk, uh, that's just the way uh, we were meant to be. We, we were meant to communicate. We were meant to talk to one another. And that's one of the reasons I do this channel because I absolutely love my dolls. I absolutely love the doll community. And I absolutely love my YouTube family and when you love someone, you like to chat. So we are chatting. And I'm just gonna tell you a funny little story, at least I think it is. Uh, most of you know I am 64 years old and we are a very God-fearing God family. 
uh, my son and I was talking. I, I grew up uh, with religion. I grew up believing in God. Uh, though the religion didn't stick with me, the faith and the love for my Heavenly Father most certainly did. And I don't know, you know, sometimes when you're talking to someone, something might just trigger a memory. And it was so funny because uh, it, I was bringing my babies out. This pillow looks like it's just a little bit too high on one side, a little low on the other side. I need to get me a boppy. I don't have one. I do, but it's a very, very small boppy, and I have that in with baby DJ. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But I was talking to my son, and uh, I was, I'm, I'm doing a root uh, for a customer now on her baby and we were just talking my son and I was just talking and it brought back a childhood memory and I thought I would like to share it with you all and I hope you don't mind but it's funny you know, my mom always told me, you know, God listens to our prayers. God answers, generally answers our prayers. But what you have to understand is that God's timeline is not the same as our timeline. We you know, I mean, we're created in God's image, and I know God has nothing but patience, all kinds of patience for him to be able to tolerate some of the stuff that's been going on in this world for so long. It's his love for us that gives him the patience. Uh, some of us have it, and some of us don't. I'm not one that has it. I'm sorry. I... I I don't. I don't have a lot of patience, <laughs> um, especially when I'm wanting something. Uh, if I want something, I wanted it yesterday. So we were just talking, and uh, I was telling my son, I think I was probably maybe uh, about seven, maybe eight. I don't think I had turned eight yet. Maybe I was close to eight, but seven is, is basically close enough. I wasn't eight yet. And my mom and dad, we had went to the store and I saw the most beautiful doll, the most beautiful baby doll. And I wanted that baby doll so badly. And my mom, I mean, we, we had seven children. Uh, and my mom was a very fair mom. So mom's not going to buy for one and not all. No, I had four brothers and two sisters. Uh, my brothers wouldn't have wanted a new doll, but they would have wanted something. Uh, my sisters were older than I was, uh, so they would have wanted something anyway, whether it was a doll or not. Mom wouldn't buy for one without the other, uh, without getting everybody something. And I grew up the same, I, 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 I do my family the same way. Uh, if I can't afford to get something for everyone, then I'm sorry at that time, no one gets anything. So, I remember my mom telling me that she just couldn't afford to get me the doll right now. We just, we can't afford it. We just can't, can't do it. Um, so, I remember uh, saying my prayers when I went to bed that night. 
and I asked God that when I woke up in the morning, please let there be a new baby doll under my bed. The baby doll I saw at the store. I wanted that doll so bad. And of course, I was raised that God loves us, God listens to our prayers, and God answers our prayers. So I had no, no, has, I mean, I knew, I knew when I got up that morning, there was going to be a new baby doll underneath my bed. All right, guys, I'm going to pause that a second and ask you, what do you think? Should I put this little hat on? I love these hats, but as you can see, when they're little hoods, they just fit so big. So, and she does look adorable. I have to say, she does look adorable with the little hat. What do you think? Should I go with the hat? Or should we just go ahead and put the little headband on as I had planned? Let's we'll do the headband and see how that works. Um, but needless to say, when I woke up that morning, there was no new baby doll underneath my bed. <laughs> no, there wasn't. There was not a new baby doll under my bed. Yes, I was a bit disappointed. And then when I'm telling my son, you know, and we're talking about it, I said, well, you know, God does answer prayers. And he does have a different timeline than we do. And now <laughs> my house is full. <laughs> my house is full of baby dolls. So I told my son, I said, it's just funny. It, it took several years, quite a lot of years, but it was only a blink of an eye to God. You know, I was about seven or eight years old. I'm 64 now. And I've been doing the babies for about 14 years. So it took a while, but my prayer was answered. And I not only got a new baby doll, I got a house full of baby dolls. <laughs> I just thought that was, it was just a sweet memory that I remembered. And, and I was telling my son, it just goes to show you when you're young, uh, you think you can just, you know, I want a bubble gum, pray for it. You know, it's just like you, if you grew up in a household of prayer, then you, no matter what you wanted, you always thought, I'll just ask God for it and he'll give it to me. God is so good and he does answer our prayers. And if you believe in God, and I sure hope you do, uh, because he is our creator, that when you don't get your prayer answered right away, maybe reflect back on my memory and don't give up your faith. Don't give up hope that God's not going to answer your prayer. May not be exactly when you want it, but it will be exactly when you need it. And believe me, when I discovered these dolls back in 2000, uh, right around the, uh, towards the end of 2006, and started making my own babies in 2007, I couldn't have needed it probably any more than, than I, I did then. So I 
never question God's timing because whenever the time comes, it will be the right time. So, now I'm not telling people to pray for a, ba a new doll, a new baby. That's not at all what I'm saying. But I am saying that sometimes we do get a little discouraged uh, when we say a prayer that uh, we think God maybe sometimes isn't listening, uh, but he is, he is. And he will answer your prayers. And remember, it'll be the right time because it'll be his time. And I just, just thought I'd share that with you all. I hope I didn't bore you, but uh, I do enjoy reminiscing and I'm telling you some of these tags I enjoy these tags so much because some of these tags will actually bring back a childhood memory uh, that I didn't know about so I'm gonna go ahead and and do another tag real quick uh, which is only a, a question that uh, Yvonne at uh, having you on asked, and I will link her in the description as well, uh, because this was her question. Do you remember the Holly Hobby of oven from 1979? And oh, I do. I absolutely do remember that. Um, I remember mine got the cord cut off. <laughs> I can't really, I think I might have been, oh, close to nine or ten. I think, no, actually, it was a little over nine. Uh, my mom got me the uh, the Holly Hobby uh, little stove shortly after my little brother was born, and I was nine when he was born. Well, actually, he was born in February. I turned nine in March, so almost nine. And so my mom got it for me, I guess, because the new baby was getting so much, you know, and at the time, my brothers and sisters had all married and moved out, so it was only me and my little brother left. And so, I guess, you know, I didn't ask her for it, but I always, I was always in the kitchen cooking with my mom, even when she had to put me on a stool to reach uh, the table or the stove. I just always loved to be in the kitchen cooking with my mom. So, she surprised me. Um, I wasn't feeling well. I didn't go to school that day. And if I didn't go to school on Friday, I wasn't allowed to go to the grocery with my mom. So I didn't feel good that day. I didn't get to go to the grocery with my mom. And she came home with this stove, the Holly Hobby stove. And I'm telling you, the first thing I did was we plugged that thing in and I baked my dad a cake. And he just ate it in one bite, but loved it, <laughs> and loved it, but I had, there was a very, very strict rule that I could not use the stove without my dad, that if my, I mean, my mom or dad, I'm sorry, without supervision, adult supervision, because it was electric, it did get very hot, if I remember, I think it had a light bulb in it uh, that caused it to bake, and um, I wasn't allowed to use it by myself. And one day I had slipped in and got it and put it in my room and my mom could actually smell. <laughs> she could smell the cake cooking from my bedroom. So she came in there, she took it, she brought it in the kitchen. When my dad got home from work, she told my dad what I had done my dad didn't say a word. He just walked over to the little oven, cut the cord, and that was the end of it. That was the end of it. And then when my girls were a little older, when I had my own girls, they all, they all, both of my daughters had the Easy Bake Oven. My daughter had the Easy Bake Oven. Actually, I've still got my youngest daughter's Easy Bake Oven in the uh, storage unit uh, because I save everything. <laughs> she may have a little girl someday that would enjoy making a cake from her Easy Bake Oven. 
And I don't know if they make the Holly Hobby uh, little stoves anymore, uh, but when it was time to go check these things out for my daughter, it was the Easy Bake Oven I got for them. So, I, like I said, I love these hashtags. I love these tags. I just, they really bring back some good, good childhood memories. And that was a, a very good one, uh, Yvonne. I hadn't thought about that little oven probably since I went to get my daughter her Easy Bake Oven. And she was, I think, three. She's almost 18 now. Hey, she was almost, I think it might have been her third birthday that I actually got it for her. And um, I probably didn't think about the Holly Hobby oven since I went and bought the Easy Bake for her. I figured they're just out. They don't make them anymore. Uh, we went with the Easy Bake oven and I never gave it another thought. And when I saw Yvonne's tag, oh yes. I remember the Holly Hobby stove from the 1979. It was, uh, I enjoyed that very much. All the way up until my dad cut the cord off of it. So those are two tags. I had only intended to do one today uh, with this video, but it, it's that was a short one so I wanted to go ahead and take care of that too because like I said these tags really do uh, bring back some very fond memories I enjoy these tags very much so thank you Tamara from Tom Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery for the fun for Friday tag and my sweet Jesse Marie and Braxton Nicole both had to get in on this one. And um, thank you, Yvonne, for bringing back a very nice childhood memory with your question, do you remember the Holly Hobby oven? And I do. So thanks, guys, for taking your time to spend it with me today. This is my little corner of the world. And when you join me, you make my heart so happy because time is so precious. It's something we all struggle. I know everybody struggles to have more time, especially more time to do the things we enjoy doing. So for you to take your time and spend it here with me really means a whole lot to me. And I really do mean that. I mean... I just enjoy making these videos so much and to have you come into my nursery, into my home, and share your time with me like that. It's very heartwarming and I am very appreciative of it. And as always, guys, you know, be kind and be nice to one another. Be supportive of one another. Count your blessings because God is always with us. And always remember, sometimes we think God leaves us. God never, ever leaves us. We may leave him, but he never leaves us. And if we do leave him, he's always there to welcome us back with open arms. So count your blessings. Be thankful. Be grateful. Be kind and loving and supportive of one another. Give God the thanks that he deserves because without him, we wouldn't even be here. So again, guys, I, I'm so grateful to you. I really am. I love every single one of you. Your support means so much to me. I get so many very kind and sweet messages and comments, and I really enjoy that. So, if you have a channel, I would love to check it out. Drop me a comment below, and I will definitely check you out. If you don't know Tam from Tom Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery, and you ever need a good laugh, go check her out. Even if you don't need a good laugh, go check her out. 
because she's a lot, a lot of fun. And she, and I literally laugh out loud. It's not just a smile, it's not a little giggle. I literally laugh out loud when I'm watching Tam's videos. I enjoy them very much. And I absolutely, absolutely love having Yvonne uh, with Yvonne. She really has some wonderful videos, lots of wonderful themes and hashtags. It's just so much fun. So both of them will be linked in the title. So please check them out. And I always, always have you in my thoughts and prayers. Hoping everyone is having a blessed day. Hope everyone is well. I'd love to know what you've been up to. Drop me a comment and just let me know what you've been up to. And if you can participate in the ta tags, I encourage it because it is a lot of fun. So I'm going to let you go. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you will get Friday video on Friday since Thursday is being as slow as a snail. <laughs> it is. It's as slow as a snail. Uh, sorry, Tam. I know snails don't have fur, but... Anyway, everybody have a blessed, blessed day, and I love you, and be safe, be happy, be blessed. Bye for now, guys. Thanks.